Hello there, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. Today it's quite a disturbing video. Um, I mean, some people, I told somebody about it this morning and they thought it was a conspiracy theory. But it's not. If you put in 15 minute cities in your Google search, you will find credible newspapers talking about it and credible people. I put some links in my description. Now, I only found out about this yesterday. I mean, I thought about, um, I knew there was going to be lockdowns. I thought they were going to be like similar to the COVID lockdowns. But it seems that what they're planning is more permanent, that they do not want us to use our cars at all, and that they want to um, create 15-minute cities, starting off with Oxfordshire and some people say Ipswich, um, that is where they're going to start off in 2024. Now, 2024 seems as though it's a long way away, but they are going to be the pilot. What's going to happen is that everybody is going to have to, um, wherever their essentials are, it needs to be within 15 minutes. So they're creating um, gateways. I'm not quite sure how they're going to gate off each area, but you will only be allowed to go 15 minutes from your house, 15 minutes radius to get your essentials. That's a 15 minute walk or a 15 minute bike ride. I don't know what happens. Well, I do know what happens. If you need to go um, out of that 15 minute radius for something urgent or I don't know if work applies or whether they expect you to get a new job, but I would imagine that they have to um, support you if you live out if you work outside a 15 minute radius and then you have to apply to the local council for a permit to leave the 15 minute radius um on the one hand it seems quite um convenient i mean we're used to convenience now we've been um programmed for convenience everything is just around the corner everything is a press of a button so that is what we have allowed ourselves to get used to and this is what I don't know if it's the government or who is um, orchestrating this but it's we are the ones who've given them permission to do it and yeah what can I say it's a bit scary in a sense because like today I went to see my mother my mother's graveside and that's in London um, 27 miles away would that would I be qualified? Would that be considered something I would be allowed to do? Because it's outside the 15 minute radius. Would I be allowed to drive to see my mother's grave once a year or twice a year or however time, many times I'd want to see it? So um, for me, where I live, I think I can just about make that 15 minute radius by walking. But what have I got an offer? I've got an Asian shop, which charges a, t a price and a half when I want something. Today, I wanted to get a spiced bun because it's becoming Christmas. Last week or the week before, it was £3.50. Today, I went in there, it was £4.50. I refused to buy it. But what I'm saying is we're at the mercy of these, sh these small shops when, when they're kind of telling us that we have to stick to a 15 minute radius. At least when you can go outside the radius, there's more competition, you can get cheaper stuff. When you're confined to a 15 minute radius, if you're not living where there are places like Lidl's, which is within 15 minutes, which is competitive, or Aldi, that's competitive, or shops where you, know, you can get a bargain at least, or at least you can have a choice. So, you know, I'm not looking forward to that. And then plus, how does that 15 minutes work? Because I, I currently, I walk quite fast and I'm always being told to slow down. Does that mean my 15 minute walk, I can go further with my 15 minute walk because I'm walking faster? Or does that mean somebody can't go as far because they walk slower? Uh, I don't know how it's worked out. I do know it's going to be a lot of paperwork a lot of bureaucracy, and um, and for the rich, well, well, they live in suburbia, 
So it won't even affect them. They won't even have to worry about what we are going to go through. This is only going to be for urban areas. The suburban areas, they're not going to be affected. And when you think about, OK, I'm going to move out to the suburban areas. Can you afford it, please? It is absolutely, when you think about the, not the capital gains tax, the stamp duty, if you want to go to the suburban areas. But that's the only way you're going to be able to escape this 15-minute zone. But anyway, I'm just going to read my notes. Like I said, check the um, description, in the description, the links, and that's going to point you in the right direction. So you can see that I'm not talking um, rubbish. So the ISO benefit urbanism approach aims to create cities in which each dweller can do her or his usual main daily activities by walking or maximum biking. It was popularised by Paris Mayer and Hildegaard and inspired by French Colombian scientist Carlos Marino, who in 2016 coined the term 15 minute cities. And these are built from a series of five minute neighbourhoods, also known as complete com communities or walkable neighbourhoods. The concept has been described as a return to a local way of life. His concept is to improve quality of life by creating cities where everything a resident needs can be reached within a quarter of an hour by foot or bike. The plan for Ipswich to take on board the concept has been put together by Ipswich Vision, a partnership between organisations including Ipswich Central, the Borough Council, County Council and Suffolk Chamber of Commerce. Roadblocks stopping most motorists from driving through Oxford city centres will divide the city into, 15, into six 15-minute neighbourhoods, a County Council travel chief has said. Duncan Enright, Oxfordshire County Council's Cabinet Member for Travel and Development Strategy, explained that the authorities' traffic filter proposals in an interview in the Sunday Times. He said the filters would turn Oxford into a 15-minute city with local services within a small walking radius. Mr Enright said, it is about making sure you have the community centre, which has all of those essential needs, the bottle of milk, pharmacy, GP, schools, which you need to have in a 15 minute neighbourhood. Now, today I was I noticed that one of the roads were parked off. And I mean, I know they're saying um, 2024, but the infrastructure is being put in as we speak because by the time you turn around, 2024 is here. So they have to put in the, the um, preliminary work. So one day you'll wake up and there'll be a barrier, I, I guess, to stop you going in a certain direction. I don't know how it's going to be monitored. I don't know how they're going to stop me. Well, I guess I can go either 15 minutes in one direction or 15 minutes in another direction. What happens when you walk through these little walkways? Is there something that's stopping you from going through that direction? I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to be tagged. I know that cars are going to be, um, they're going to be kind of tagged, but it'll be camera that's going to be um, checking where your car is going and alerting the powers that be if you go outside a certain radius. And you're going to be fined, like I said, £70 if you exceed that if you exceed that radius. So you might as well say, OK, if I'm going to risk going out of the area, that's going to cost me £70. That's the way you have to look at it. For a family of four, you'd probably be paying £70 on the train anyway. So you might see it as, OK, that's what I'm prepared to pay. Now, I don't know if that's £70 one way and £70 another. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> It's a permanent climate lockdown. The 15-minute city is not just Oxford, but turning up in Brisbane, Melbourne, Barcelona, Paris, Portland and Buenos Aires. <coughs> Sorry. To this end, Oxfordshire County Council, which is run by Labour and the Liberal Democrats and the Green Party, 
wants to divide the city of Oxford into six 15-minute districts. I think I said that. In these districts, it is said most household essentials will be accessible. I've already said that. So what they're more than saying, residents will have no need for a car. So they really want us to do without driving. So all these people have bought cars. Recently, they bought electric cars to, you know, mitigate against any extra um, fees or penalties. So after you've bought these cars, you're still not going to be able to drive them by the looks of it. On the surface, these 15-minute neighbourhoods might sound pleasant and convenient, but there is a coercive edge. The council plans to cut car use and traffic congestion by placing strict rules on car journeys. Residents will have to register their cars with the council and they will be tracked to count their journeys through the key gateways. Under the new proposal, if any of Oxford's 150,000 residents drive outside of their designated district more than 100 days a year, he or she could be fined £70. Well, that's not too bad then. Because it's only if they do it more than 100 days a year. So it's not like how I was led to believe if you just drive out there once, you're going to get fined £70. You have to be doing it like a lot of times, which... To me, it's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought, put it that way. Apparently, not enough people are catching buses or riding bikes. But why aren't they catching why aren't they catching buses? Because the buses are bloody expensive. Minimum return is nearly a fiver, and that's for a local drive. Who's got that? And then bikes. We're not all able to ride a bloody bike. And who wants to? It's bloody scary riding a bike. Anyway, but instead of making that more appealing, the totalitarians will force it through tracking and fines. Oxfordshire has just approved on November 29th the traffic filters trial, which will turn the city into a 15-minute city. The trial will start in January 2024. It's exactly nearly a year. The stamp duty on selling a house and buying another is prohibitive. A year's savings or more for most. So it's not really a reasonable option to move every time you get a new job. Um, the idea is that everything you regularly need will be within 15 minutes of where you live and you will be fined for excessive travels beyond your patch. Hmm. Need permission to drive your car? That's what I said. Um, Copenhagen, for example, adopted a five minute to everything model back in 2016. So we're kind of behind. A maximum five minute walk to all amenities and public transport. For Melbourne, the goal was a 10 minute threshold or more specifically a 20 minute return trip to all amenities. Other cities, including Glasgow, Portland and Hamilton, New Zealand, aim for 20 minutes. And while the Pacific time period differs, the central tenet enhancing the accessibilities of neighbourhoods through design and active transit remains the same. And I think about myself, OK, yeah, I've got an Asian shop there. Yes, I've got a co-op and I've got a Nisa, I've got a post office. It might just make the 15 minute radius, I think. But I guess if I wanted to buy underwear or, you know, something like that, there's nothing around there. But I guess they would say you can get it online. You don't need to, um, those kind of things you can get online. But, you know, gone other days, like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I drove to Milton Keynes. That would be a no no. So what about days out, you know? Anyway, like I said, you know, if they're giving us a few days before we're fined, at least you know, okay, you're going to be restricted. But it's not 
permanent in the sense that it's not like you don't have days like I think it said over 100 days in a year 360 days in one year so what they're saying one third of that time you can go out of your zone that's my understanding they might change the rules but at the moment I think that's my understanding but you know what they do these things to make it look attractive to woo you in and then they change it like for now they might say okay 100 days then once they've done it and it's in place they might knock it down to 50 days and then they might knock it down to 30 days and once a month and once a week not even once a week but you know that's what it might happen until we're just permanently 15 minutes you know but it's is this is this programming and conditioning that you know everything's going to be 15 minutes they should really if they're going to do that they should make sure that everybody has a supermarket a large supermarket within a 15 minute radius and i guess that's why it can't work in suburbia because in suburbia the shops are much further apart Anyway, the concept which is increasingly being generalised to the X-minute city is revolutionising the way we think about our urban homes. So, that's all I've got to say about that. Your thoughts would be appreciated, and thank you for returning subscribers. And anybody else who wants to subscribe, you're welcome. Comments are appreciated, thumbs up are always appreciated. Take care now. Bye-bye.